following precision U.S. airstrikes on Iran's key nuclear sites, for Dow, Natanz, and Esfahan. Defense expert Pruffel Bakshi emphasized India's potential to mediate in the escalating Israel-Iran conflict. He stated that Prime Minister Narendra Modi, given India's friendly ties with both nations, could play a crucial diplomatic role to defuse tensions. Bakshi likened America's approach to a relentless hunter and warned that the strikes served as a message not only to Iran but also to China and Russia. In a public address, President Donald Trump hailed the mission's success and threatened further action if Iran refused peace negotiations. He acknowledged Israeli PM Netanyahu for coordinated efforts and declared the strikes a historic moment. Top U.S. leaders, including Vice President J.D. Vance and Secretary of State Marco Rubio, supported his statement. The developments came two days after Trump's proposal of a diplomatic window, reflecting rising stakes in the region's fragile stability. India's upcoming BrahMos NG missile, a lighter and more advanced version of the original BrahMos, is being developed for potential air to air missions targeting high value enemy assets. Former BrahMos Aerospace Chief Sudhir Mishra revealed that the missile may be adapted to strike strategic aerial platforms like AWACS, refueling tankers, and transport aircraft, assets critical to an adversary's operational reach. Developed jointly by India's DRDO and Russia's NPO Machino Stroenia, the 1.3 ton BrahMos NG is compact enough for deployment on IF jets like Su 30 MKI, Tejas, and MiG 29. Though not built for dogfights, its Mach 2.8 speed and 290 km range could allow standoff strikes on slow-moving enemy enablers, disrupting surveillance, logistics, and aerial refueling capabilities. The missile's compact size may allow aircraft to carry multiple units, significantly boosting firepower. As flight testing nears, this strategic evolution reflects India's aim to enhance precision strike options and assert air dominance in future conflicts. In response to a failed Pakistani attempt to target India's S-400 Triumph air defense system, the Indian Air Force is reinforcing its defenses by integrating indigenous missile systems. Following the reported launch of a Chinese CM-400 AKG missile by Pakistan, which was intercepted by an older Indian system, the IF is now considering deploying DRDO-developed QRSAM and VLSRSAM to shield the S-400 batteries. These short-range systems are designed to counter future threats including potential hypersonic weapons from China. The VLSR-SAM offers 360-degree protection up to 80 kilometers, while QR-SAM secures mobile formations within 30 kilometers. This layered defense strategy complements existing systems like Barak-8 and Akash, and aligns with India's Atmanirbhar Bharat push. The initiative also supports India's long-term vision under Project Kusha to build S-400-class air defense capabilities domestically, ensuring resilience against evolving regional threats. The Indo-Israeli Barak-8 air defense system was used in combat for the first time during the ongoing Iran-Israel conflict, marking a major milestone in joint defense innovation. Israel deployed both land and naval variants to intercept Iranian drones, with the Israeli Air Force downing one drone, and the Navy's Barak Megan system, aboard Sayar-6 corvettes, intercepting eight others in a single night. Developed jointly by India's DRDO and Israel Aerospace Industries, Barak-8 is designed to counter UAVs, cruise missiles, and aircraft with a 100 km range and 360 degrees coverage. In India, the system has been successfully tested on naval and air platforms and recently intercepted a Pakistani Fata-2 missile during Operation Sindor. Its proven performance in active combat highlights the growing strategic value of Indo-Israeli collaboration and positions Barak-8 as a globally relevant air defense system amid evolving aerial threats. Armenia is strengthening defense ties with India by exploring the Mark 45 artillery system following the successful deployment of Indian-made Mark 39 howitzers. After signing a $155.5 million deal in November 2022 for 72 Mark 39 units from Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited, Armenia tested the mobile system across varied terrain by mid-2024 and found it well-suited for mountainous operations. Encouraged by the results, Armenia is now considering the upgraded Mark 45, 
unveiled in February 2025, which offers extended range, 36 km versus 24 km, while retaining rapid deployment features. This evolving partnership highlights India's emergence as a key defense exporter. Armenia, seeking to move beyond Soviet-era arms, has also received India's long-range ATAG's towed artillery and plans to acquire more units. The integration of these systems is aimed at creating a flexible and resilient artillery network to safeguard Armenia's security in a volatile South Caucasus region. For the first time, China, Pakistan and Bangladesh held a trilateral meeting in Kunming, China, while the agenda focused on regional cooperation, digital economy, and people-centric development, the strategic undertone raised eyebrows in India. Bangladesh's presence alongside China and Pakistan, nations often at odds with India, signals a possible shift in regional alignment. This is especially surprising given Dhaka's recent strong ties with New Delhi in economic and security matters. China's vice foreign minister, Bangladesh's acting foreign secretary and top Pakistani officials, including Foreign Secretary Amna Baloch, praised China's initiative and expressed interest in enhancing cooperation in trade, agriculture, and investment. Analysts view this meeting as a calculated effort to challenge India's strategic influence in South Asia, with growing concerns that development narratives may mask geopolitical pressure tactics. In a bold move, the Taliban government has cancelled a 25-year oil extraction deal with a Chinese company over what it calls serious violations and betrayal. The deal, focused on the AMU Daria River Basin, was expected to benefit China significantly. However, the Taliban accused the Chinese firm of failing to meet key promises, including investment, drilling, employment for Afghans and providing necessary guarantees. The Ministry of Mines and Petroleum stated that repeated contract violations forced this decision. A joint interministerial probe found consistent negligence by the Chinese company. Taliban spokesperson Humayun Afghan confirmed the deal's cancellation, citing directives from the Prime Minister's office. Afghan economic experts now call for stricter scrutiny in future foreign contracts. This move not only strains China Afghanistan ties, but also sends a message to global powers including India, about shifting dynamics in the region. In a major boost to India's indigenous defense capabilities, the upcoming Tejas Mk-2 fighter jet will integrate an advanced artificial intelligence system, developed for the fifth-generation AMCA stealth fighter. This AI framework will enhance pilot situational awareness through sensor fusion from ASA radar, electronic warfare systems, and other onboard sensors. It will function as a virtual co-pilot, prioritizing threats and recommending responses, thereby easing pilot workload in high-pressure combat. While the full autonomy of the AMCA's electronic pilot won't be included, the shared AI architecture will enable seamless communication between the Tejas MK2 and AMCA enabling coordinated, multi-role missions. The Tejas Mk-2, designed with extended range, higher payload, and indigenous weapons like Astra Mk-2, is scheduled for prototype rollout by late 2025 and first flight in early 2026. Series production by HAL may begin by 2029, with squadron induction by 2030. AI features will be added in post-2030 production batches in sync with the AMCA's development, whose prototype is expected in 2026 and induction by 2035. This phased integration reflects the IF's modernization goals, creating a tech-driven, networked force capable of addressing evolving regional threats. India has launched a major push to fast-track its indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, by adopting a collaborative development model involving private firms and top academic institutions. Led by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, this initiative aims to integrate advanced artificial intelligence and autonomous technologies into the stealth jet, aligning with the Indian Air Force's strategic needs and the Atmanirbhar Bharat vision. Following the Ministry of Defense's approval in May 2025 for an execution model inviting competitive participation, 
The ADA has called for expressions of interest from Indian companies to develop, prototype, and certify the aircraft. The AMCA will feature an AI-powered electronic pilot to assist with navigation and combat tasks, freeing the human pilot to focus on mission-critical decisions. It will also support man-on-man -man teaming, enabling control of drones and UCAVs mid-flight. With a development budget of rupees 15,000 crore for five prototypes, the project aims for the first flight by 2029 and full induction by 2035. The initiative marks a strategic leap in India's aerospace capabilities, emphasizing AI, secure networks, and multi-platform coordination essential for future warfare. In a major scientific breakthrough, Indian researchers have developed a scalable solar-powered device capable of producing green hydrogen without relying on fossil fuels. Scientists from the Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences, CNS Bengaluru, achieved this by creating a silicon-based photoanode using an innovative NIP heterojunction architecture, comprising N-type TO2, intrinsic silicon, and P-type NEO layers. Led by Dr. Ashutosh K. Singh, the team employed magnetron sputtering for fabrication, ensuring industrial scalability. The device demonstrated exceptional performance, recording a surface photovoltage of 600 millivolts, an onset potential of 0.11 VRHE, and over 10 hours of stable operation in alkaline conditions with only 4% efficiency loss. A larger 25 square centimeters version also showed consistent results, proving the design's scalability. This advancement addresses one of the biggest challenges in clean energy, cost-effective hydrogen production, and supports India's national green hydrogen mission. The innovation may soon enable decentralized hydrogen systems to power homes and industries using solar energy alone. Recognized in a leading international journal, the development signifies India's growing leadership in sustainable technologies and a significant step toward a carbon-neutral future. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.